Interestingly, our research identified that only 40% of managers regularly painted an effective vision of what their team needed to be doing and how they needed to be performing. This seems a relatively low figure given that we're actively wired to copy others, to analyse their characteristics and perceive how similar they are to us. From the moment we're born, copying others is the most influential way we learn and develop, which is why our behaviours and beliefs are heavily shaped by those around us. So in the business world, if, if people identify with a manager or a team and want to be part of it, they're likely to adopt similar behaviours. If you are a people manager, by implication you're also a role model. You need to build your effectiveness in this area, given that it's your impactful role modelling which will support performance improvement by motivating your team members to believe in their work and build their own capacity to contribute. So what's important in role modelling? Well, good role modelling starts with continually demonstrating to the team why the work matters, showing them how you and they can anchor to a higher purpose, build engagement and productivity. Role modelling then continues in the daily detail of what you do, how you do it and how you talk about it. Interestingly, our, our research says that only 25% of managers currently role model expected new ways of working from new capability programmes. So when you're considering role modelling why the work matters, think about how you're demonstrating a strong sense of connection to the vision you and the team are working to deliver. How are you articulating the types of outcomes that are important to you? When you're thinking about role modelling what's important, then identify the precise skills that you need to perform at higher levels and find ways to build those skills for yourself and the team. This may mean role modelling unlearning ways of working that have become out of date. When considering your role modelling of how you do your work, then set the cultural expectations of how you want the team to work through your cumulative and consistent behaviours over time. Reward, recognise and support a culture in which learning, information, collaboration and innovation are the norm. Finally, you need to overtly signal and call out your role modelling to ensure others can learn from you more easily and can even become role models themselves.